Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, I thought I'd show you guys something regarding four player Konami boards. Now, if you're into arcade collecting, uh, you might have come across some Konami four player games. And these games are some of the best in my opinion. Uh, Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, Cowboys of Moo Mesa, Sunset Riders, those are all really, really fun, collectible games. Now here's the thing. Each one of these games, for the most part, um, and I'll tell you what, what I mean by that, but these games are four player games. And what that means is these games were intended for a four player cabinet. Now, if you're into collecting, you may only have a two player cabinet such as this. So, will this still work? Yes. However, you will come into a problem. You will only be able to select player one and player two. Player three and four will not be selectable. Now, if you have no problem with that and you're totally fine, um, you know, no biggie. Now, if you're still not sure what I'm talking about, let me go ahead and show you. Let me go ahead and turn this off. I'll turn it back on, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now here you can see I have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles board. And if you look up there, you can see we got one player, two player, three player, four player. So the game does work in a two player cab. However, let's see what happens when we add some credits. As you can see, you can only select player one and two. In this case, player one will always be Leonardo, and player two will always be Michelangelo. You will not be able to select Donatello or Raphael. So, if you only use these characters, no problem, you're good to go. However, if you want to use all four characters in a two-player JAMA cabinet, there's something you're going to have to do and I'll show you what that is. Okay, so here we have the Ninja Turtles board. Now in order to convert this to a two-player board, if you don't have the current uh, tools or hardware, you're gonna have to spend probably about 40 bucks, maybe less. What you need to do is actually remove these four chips right here one two three four and you'll have to replace them with two player version um, data encrypted chips I guess that's the best way I can say it now where do you get these chips well you can try the KLO, the KLOV forms uh, if not there's a place that I go to when I usually need to, uh, something like this and the cost comes out to about 10 bucks per chip, including shipping. I'll go ahead and put the link to the place uh, down in the, in the description box. But basically, what you need to do, take these four out and put these four in. Now, how do you know where they need to go? It's pretty easy. This probably isn't going to focus in, but under each chip right here, there's an alphabet and a number. For example, this one is K17. This one is K15. You'll get the chips, and they'll tell you where they need to go. K17, K15. So it's quite simple. Pop those out, pop those in. Here's an important uh, 
Uh, an important thing you need to uh, follow here, brain freeze right there. If you look at these chips, there's a notch at the top. You see it there, you can see it there. You can see an indentation there and an indentation there. When you install these chips, the notch, you can see them right there. It's probably not focusing in. Um, but yeah, you can probably see them right there. They have to be pointed in the same direction. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch these right here. Then we'll power up the game. And hopefully we'll be good to go. Okay, so as you can see, I got all the ROMs in there. Now, when you're installing the ROMs, what you need to do is be very careful with the legs. The legs can be bent real easily. So you want to make sure that when you're installing them, each leg goes into each socket. It can be a pain. You might have to take your the, the, the legs right here and squeeze them together just a little bit. But as you can see, we got them all in. So let's power this up and hopefully all is good. Now, look right here. You may not have seen it, but it said Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. I'll get to that in a bit. But, as you can see, it's working. Now, on the Ninja Turtle games, after you, you switch your ROMs, the very first time you turn on the cabinet, you're gonna have to turn on the cabinet with your test switch pressed. Now, you only have to do that the very first time. After that, you can turn on normally. Let's go ahead and add some credits. And there we go. See? I can choose any turtle. We'll go for player two. Same thing. I can now choose any turtle. We'll just take a look again at the intro. Now I decided to go with the UK version of the two player game. And the only difference, and this also, this is just for the UK version, is it says Hero Turtles. That was due to, I think, licensing issues. Um, even the toys back then, they were not called Ninja Turtles, they were called Hero Turtles. But the game is exactly the same, it's just for that intro screen. You're basically taking the information from the UK two-player version and putting it right there. So, that's how you take a four-player Konami game and convert it to two players. Pretty simple. It's going to cost you a little bit of money, but oh well. So, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, the place I got the ROMs, I think it's uh, HobbyRoms.com. I'll put the link down below. So, until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>